here at TKJ Electronics we are back with a new project and it's a uh, magnetic reader project uh, a coat lock with a uh, servo so if we try to plug this in uh, let's see and pull it out you'll see it turns but if we take another car plug it in yeah it's a bit difficult but no, it doesn't work. And that's why, uh, oh, that's because of the data on the card. If we see here, it's my reader writer over there. If we read the card, which didn't work, you'll see it contains this data. Then, if we read the card, which is correct. It contains this data. So the difference is this one. It doesn't have the end. So the Arduino checks for the complete data string. It needs to be correct to open. And here you'll see the code, the Arduino code in the Arduino IDE. And uh, the string, the check code string is here and that's the complete string and if we go to back to the other scanning program you'll see that the other card which didn't work only contains this but the card which worked contains this oh that's not the one sorry yeah that contains this and that's the complete string it starts with a semicolon and ends with a question mark. That's because it's track 2 of the card. And then it works. About the code and the connections, please visit alec.tkjweb.dk slash blog. In there you can see the connections and download the Arduino code for this. The magnetic reader I have here is a Panasonic cheap one from all electronics. I think it costs seven dollars. So that's very cheap. And it can read uh, every man magnetic card uh, but only track two. Because my dreams are bursting at the seams Production.